Question 32. Free electrons flow along a copper wire radius 5 times 10 negative 5. Ooh, that's very small. With an average drift speed of 2.8. You know, if they give you a copper wire thing, I'm just... While I think about the question, I am going to draw the copper wire. So assume that this is a section of it. This is copper wire X. Is it? X. Okay. Radius is 5 times 10 negative 5. Now, drift speed here, what is it referring to? Drift speed is how fast the charge carriers are moving inside. So I'm going to assume electrons. Okay, so electrons are going to be inside here. And on average, they're kind of drifting along with that speed, which is 2.8. Uh, I'm just going to call it V. La. <laughs> v. And then there's a current in the wire, which I will just draw by representing this, using this thing, this, this arrow, 3.0 amps. That's current flowing in and out. Okay, pretty good setup. Then there is another wire, copper wire, Why? but the radius is two times bigger. Radius, two times bigger. How do I know it's two times bigger? I, I draw a picture. Lo. I mean, you can see times two, what you get. Okay, so I uh, kind of draw like that. Is this bigger? No, not bigger. Okay, let's draw another bigger one. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. How about this? There we go. This now is... Uh, copper wire Y. Radius are two times bigger. That will be 10 times 10 negative 5. But you notice they're right in 10 negative 4. So 1 times 10 negative 4. Fair enough. Okay. Current coming through 2 amps. Then they ask you what is the drift speed of the electrons free electrons in this copper wire Y. So inside this copper wire also got electrons. They're all kind of just drifting along the wire, but we don't know what that is. And we need to find the equation to help us find that. So when you see this kind of question, drift speed, copper wire radius, think of that main equation. There's only one main equation for that. And that is our I equals to, you may memorize it as the Nave equation. Or the NAVQ equation, NAVQ, NVQ, I, I don't know. Lah. I'm going to substitute NAVE because here we're looking at free electrons. So the charge of one electron is negative 1 E. So just E, lah, okay? The negative we can ignore. So between these two copper, we need to see what is same and what is different because we want to use the equation. Maybe we can use some kind of... Um, ratio method here. All right, let's use a ratio. So for both uh, wires X and Y, current is different. Oh? Okay, current is different. Uh, number density, N, is N constant. This N right here. This N is a number density, which is specific for copper. Both also copper, right? Copper wire X, copper wire Y. Okay, so that means they have the same number density. So this is a constant. I'm going to put in a box to remind myself. Cross-section area, different. Radius change already. Cross-section area, different. Nah, hello. Here is the area. Here is the area. It's much smaller. V is different. Okay. E is a constant. So that's out of the picture. So I can rearrange this to say that I over A times V equals to NE, which is just constant. For both wires, to compare both. Hence... I can do this last sentence and say, okay, since equals a constants, so I, oh, area can expand some more side notes. Area, or area, area, where's my area? Area is, in terms of radius, uh, pi r square. Let's, let's expand it a little bit. So I can say that I over pi is constant, so I can ignore that, so area has become r square times v this is v of this is for x same as i over radius times the drift velocity of y and they can equal each other because they all equal to constant which is n and e and pi inside there as well okay so now we plug in all our values so for x we have what are we looking at? Current, 3 amps. Okay, 3 amp. What else? Radius of x. That is 5 times 10, negative 5 
square and the drift velocity given to us. Where is the drift speed? 2.8 times 10, negative 2. Wow, very big, eh, this fraction. Okay, this is all for x, ah, all the stuff from x up here. Then we do the same, but for y now. So it's this fat wire here. This is one method of doing the ratio. So current, I suppose it's a pretty big one. Current here will be 2m. R square is 1 times 10, negative 4 square times this mysterious drift velocity we don't know we just put v here okay so this is a good start let's see what we can do to find v so press calculator we should get for v 4.66666 okay i'm just gonna stop there times 10 negative 3 okay so look at the choices the best one we can have then is a based on this idea of doing ratios so the idea here is do ratios Ratio is your best friend, and this form is one way to do your ratio. But make sure you know what's constant and what's changing. Lah. Okay, so that's all for this question. Hope that's helpful. I'll see you in the next one.